Hello there ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? It's Alexander Hilly123 here and it's time for a new video. It's time for a new video in the playing series today. Basically a series of videos that I upload. Between 5 and 10 minutes long. Talk about the game a little bit and upload it. It's not a playthrough, it's not a season, it's not a review, nothing like that. Just a one-off video. Um, well, I'll talk in this video of why I like this game and a little bit about it and whatnot. As you can see, released in the year 2000, nearly 15 years of age, you know, this game, absolutely astonishing, really. It's still great fun to play. But back in the day, on this channel, in 2010, I did one, two, actually, videos of ISS Pro Evolution 2. I meant to do a Master League with West Ham, but I never went through with it, I remember. And I thought, you know what, I've not uploaded a football video on the channel for a while, so why not? ISS Pro Evolution 1. Also done ISS Pro 98, done one or two videos on that game. And if I had the means of doing so, I'd do the old ISS games on the N64, which were all brilliant. And they were free altogether. And even the ISS games on the GameCube, which were very arcade but still pretty damn good fun. Random team selection has picked us out Ukraine against Norn Iron. I don't know if that was a Northern Irish accent, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just pretend it never happened. We're going to take the commentary off because I don't want those absolute Muppets Terry Butcher and the other fella talking over me. I think in the second game it's someone called Chris James who does the commentary. But in this first game I'm not sure who it is at all. Or it might be Chris James in this game. Vice versa. Uh, and someone who I don't know in the second. But nevertheless, it's bloody terrible. But here we have Ukraine in Sweden's kit for some reason. Let's just make the game a little bit faster because it is quite slow um, as a default. And I like the camera at normal fur because I like to see what's going out on out there on the pitch. Yes, Ukraine versus Northern Ireland. Ukraine were the favourites in this friendly match. And anything can happen. Both managers experimenting with their lineups. And of course, on this game. I think I mentioned before that the names are all wrong and ISS Pro Evolution 2 certain names are correct. I think a lot of EU teams, or European teams as I should just say, um, are right in the second game. But yeah, you've got Shevchenko, you've got Sergei Rebrov I think on the left wing there. I remember Luzhny of Arsenal. Um, just looking at these names, I do remember quite a few of them. You've got Ian Dowie, would you believe it, up front for Northern Ireland. Yeah, it probably... Someone 300 years ago when his family came from Northern Ireland. That's why he plays from bloody hell, Ian Dowie. Bloody hell, mate, Ian Dowie. Irish. You fucking slags. Got Kevin Orlock there as well. Taggart, I remember him. Fetish, I remember him. But, uh, yeah, for old school football fans, it is quite intriguing looking back at these old names. Got a normal mode, because I've not played this game in quite a while. I still fancy myself to beat Northern Ireland here. I don't know if you guys have seen the new PES 2015 gameplay on YouTube for the PS4 and Xbox One, but it actually looks pretty damn good. We've had a lot of false dawns with Pro Evolution Soccer in the last seven or eight years or so, but I'm hoping this can be uh, the rebirth of the series, really, because I am of the personal belief that the last good Pro Evolution Soccer game, that's the yellow card ref, yeah, the last good Pro Evolution Soccer game was Pro Evolution Soccer 6 on the PS2. I did not like any on the 360 and PS3. And there are a whole host, a myriad of reasons why, and I'm not going to get into them. But I just can tell, looking at that video on YouTube, or the videos I should say, uh, the, the gameplay looks more fluid, the players don't run like morons. It just looks better, simple as. But it's such a shame that there are a lack of football games these days, you know. Just EA and Konami, back and forth every year. Back in the day, there were more football games. I remember Michael Owen Soccer 99, I think it was something like that. That was quite an underrated football game. If this is football games are pretty good as well, to be fair. Who's in? I think I remember him as well. I might be wrong. But yeah, 30 minutes and Northern Ireland haven't conceded the goal yet. This is still so highly playable, ladies and gentlemen. And it is so satisfying 
to keep the ball in tight situations like I am doing now, especially on hard mode, and you get used to the game, and you get good at it, which I am not, because I've not played it in quite a while. Don't let Ian Dewey score against me. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> oh, got something in my throat there. I apologise, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, um, there are ways and means of scoring on this game. For example, it's very easy to just run down the left and right wing, hit a hopeful cross into the box, and your player usually will get his head on it. You don't see football like that these days, really. It's not all about crossing, it's about attacking through the middle. You can do that as well if you want to. Use an L1 and X to do this. If you want to. You can pull it off there, but it's very satisfying when you do pull it off. Also, L1 and triangle, which is a high through ball. Nothing on the game feels as good as ex executing a high through ball that completely splits open the defence. It's absolutely fantastic. And I don't think... There is a manual pass on this game. I think they introduced that with either the sequel or Pro Evolution Soccer, the first game, where you press the right stick uh, and you can put the pass exactly where you want it. Very tricky to play like that, but every so often you can accidentally, usually it's accidentally anyway, uh, play a great pass. Not too much has happened in this game. Obviously, I put it on five minutes because I don't want the video to last too long for you guys. But hopefully, we can see a goal at least. But Northern Ireland are defending for their lives and doing very well. Football superstar Ian Dewitt. Being the footballing demigod, ladies and gentlemen. There we go, through the middle. Goose in! The deadlock has been broken. It's 1 0 to the Ukraine. It's Goose in. Like a knife through butter, that, ladies and gentlemen. You can get a few buzzes through there. Any more cliches? Please send them my way. But he tucked it past the goalkeeper very nicely. Um, with 65 minutes gone on the clock, it is 1 0 to the Ukraine. That always not annoyed me about this game. I'm actually going to talk about two shortcomings of the game, and they are quite minor. Well, the first one is anyway. I hate the fact that instead of just saying, like, 65 minutes, like it should be now, or 70 minutes, it resets the clock, and it says 25 minutes gone in the second half. I just, I don't know, it's a minor irritation, but it's always peeved me. And also, there are no replays on this game, and I don't know why. I think they only re introduced replays about... Pro Evolution Soccer 3 or 4, I think. I don't remember them being on the first Pro Evolution Soccer game. And really, there are no excuses. just don't understand why they didn't do that. Maybe they didn't think that people would want replays from open play, but there are always times when something weird happens, or you think you've got a corner and it's a goal kick or something like that. So, I don't know. But anyway, last 10 minutes of the game here, ladies and gentlemen. Skachenko, that must be a young Andrei Shevchenko. Might be wrong though. Oh, bloody hell, he hits the bat. What a goal that would have been. And that would have seen Northern Ireland dead and buried. Rebrov, former Tottenham player. And this is before he went to Tottenham though. Also, on this game, I've just done it there. I forgot about it, but I've just executed it there. Oh, what a goal from Rebrov. Should be about 24 years of age, I'm guessing. That's what I predict. 25. Um, if you press square to shoot, and then as the power bar is going up, you press X. He kind of faints left or right. Um, and you can force defenders into tackles that way. And it feels absolutely fantastic to do when you get it right. Don't know what the keeper's playing at there, but there we have it in injury time. It's 2-0. And it's game over, ladies and gentlemen. The Ukraine 2, Northern Ireland 0. But yes, this is ISS Pro Evolution Soccer. This game is nearly 15 years old, ladies and gentlemen. And yet it is still highly playable today. A footballing classic. Thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you soon.